Today, it's all about our fellow mammals and getting that mammalogist badge. Let's go shooting rabbits. Uh, with the camera, I mean. No animals were harmed in the making of this guide. What do we have here? Taking lots of photos and milking 10 Brahmin. Okay, okay, we can do this. Before we dig into our mammalogy research, we need to prove that we know our udders from our elbows by taking the exam. Exam terminals can be found at Pioneer Scout camps like here at Camp Adams. As always, a link to the exam answers are in the description. With a lot of our badge requirements, we're gonna need to take some pictures with a camera. This camera is found on the body of tourists, which can be found at one of 13 locations. I've made a helpful camera video guide of where and how to easily find the tourist and how to begin the bucket list quest. Link is down below. Well, here we are, Dorothea, West Virginia. All right, before we head out snapping shots and whatnot, let's milk a bunch of Brahmin. Why? It's not for making those sweet, sweet white Russians. It's for science, I swear. Man, this game is giving me a drinking problem. So how do we go about getting 10 Brahmin to milk? Well, you can scour the map and milk the Brahmin at various different locations, but if someone got there first, you're milk out of luck. You can consistently find Brahmin at a pond near Pleasant Valley Station. There are three there, and plenty of Brahmin are roaming around Flatwoods. I believe you can find nine here. And after you do the quest free range, if your Brahmin survived, they will be milkable when the event is finished. <laughs> Chali the Moo Moo is a hard one to track down, but you can milk her. You can also find Brahmin at player camps or have one Brahmin at your own camp. Chali the Moo Moo, pick all the good spots to trade. All of that takes a bit of time and effort. A much, much easier method to milk 10 Brahmin is by taking over a workshop, which will let you have up to three Brahmin at a time. You will need 12 razor grain and 9 steel for this, and that's it. I like Billings Homestead because there's already tons of razor grain here. What you're going to want to do is go into workshop mode and make three Brahmin pens under resources and try and milk the Brahmin. Don't worry if it kicks you, you can just try again. Then go back into workshop mode, store the Brahmin pens, then place them again, milk, store, repeat until you've had 10 Brahmin milked. So I've seen this method done where the player just kills the Brahmin and repairs the pens over and over again. Not only does that waste resources, but I've already renamed all my Brahmin. That one's Cindy Lumu, that's Khalees, and that's Sir Provolone the Third. And since we're here, we do need a camera shot of a Brahmin, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that now. The rest of these tasks are camera shots of specific mammals, so let's get to it. First up, we need a picture of a cat. I've taken more pictures than I can count of my own cat, so this should be easy. Cats can be consistently found at this billboard west of Beckwith Farm. There are usually four here. At the shack in the mire west of Delano Grange, there are a few cats as well. Come here, kitty. I just want to pet you. There's a body of a cat named Cheswick in the farmhouse of Wicks and Homestead. Remember, photos of deceased animals will count. Poor Cheswick. And found between Welch Station and Mount Blair train yard, there's a live cat named Mergle. He's so cute. I want more cats now. If I could take this one home back to my camp, I would. Boxes can consistently be found at Big Fred's Barbecue Shack. There's usually quite a few roaming around here. Aww. Opossums are terrifying teethy little furballs of death, but they sure do taste good. You can find them at Flatwoods, out and around the diner in town, and scurrying around the dumpsters. Rabbits and squirrels can be found around the same place, with red stags not far. We're headed to the White Spring service entrance, and up the hill here a little ways, you'll find a spawn of rabbits or squirrels or both.
if we make our way to behind these buildings right near the station and safe and clean disposal, there is a pond that will always have some rad stags. There is also a young yearling that's body will always be under this fallen tree just north of it. Wolves can be found in a few different places, like during the event Leader of the Pack, or you can always find a few at this unmarked Brotherhood grave site southeast of Huntersville. Galgwai have a lot of static spawns, and White Springs is one of those places. Just northeast of the Miner's Monument, there is a cave where we can get a great shot of a sweet sleepy bear. This is the last shot we need, and now we have that Mammalogist badge. Still wish I had a sash to pin it on though. Great job, Scouts! We did it! Let me just say, I had to re-record the audio for this badge so many times. I kept flubbing over saying the word mammalogist, mammalogist? Mammalogist, smoothly in a sentence. Glad that's over with. So, what's your favorite mammal in 76 so far? The sheep squatch is awesome, and I dig the mega sloth, but I love finding fluffy cats in the game. Let me know in the comments section. For more Fallout 76 guides and content, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that Brahmin bell to get notified of the next one. I'm Wickedy, thanks for hanging out with me, and until next time, bye!